Well, I sent uh, a letter to the king uh, the other day, not uh, the king of kings, but actually to uh, King Charles III in London. Now, I'm sure he will read my letter and uh, card of condolence, oh, oh, oh. but someone will. And uh, perhaps I'll even receive a nice uh, letter or a card back from Buckingham Palace. But um, King uh, Charles is an earthly king and will go the way of all flesh. However, there is another king who not only gives me an audience, but has written me personal letters. And uh, what kind of king does that? Well, this uh, king of kings wrote several letters to me personally and to every person on the planet. Uh, it's These letters, of course, are the Bible and most people can read one. They can either buy or borrow one or even read it online these days. <clears throat> uh, my own uh, personal letter, uh, which I like the best, is called the Book of Isaiah. Now, it's a not very straight uh, forward up to chapter 40, but from chapter 40 onwards, it suddenly bursts into new life and tells uh, the uh, story of uh, the Jewish people and their uh, relationship with uh, God. <clears throat> and uh, the life in uh, the coming kingdom of God. So it's a very important book for the Jewish people. Uh, however, uh, Isaiah 53 especially tells of uh, the suffering of the Messiah and his sacrifice. It says, though, that he will be satisfied with his sufferings. He will see his people and rejoice. He will replace the spirit of heaviness with the garment of uh, praise. It tells me in later parts that uh, the uh, temple will be built on Mount Zion and it will be a house of uh, prayer for all those who follow the Torah. And, of course, uh, the book also tells far more than I have the time to tell um, uh, here. But for this is amazing, is it not? The Messiah, who uh, not only made all the things in the universe and the universe itself. And not only wrote the books of Moses, that's often called uh, the Torah, but he wrote the rest of the Bible as well, using human hands. Even though he's a far more powerful uh, king than any earthly king, he's always available 24-7. He loves us and shows compassion for us. He leads us on into truth and righteousness. He gave his own life to pay for our wrongdoing. He proved that he was who he said he was by rising from the dead. And just to state uh, the obvious here, no one has ever produced uh, the uh, body of Yeshua, Jesus the Messiah. That would end the debate, uh, would it not? But no one has been able to produce his body because he walked out of the tomb and was seen by thousands of people. And uh, he was seen for 40 days after he rose again. Now, and we may have all kinds of allegiances to rulers in this world, to kings, presidents, prime ministers, emperors, and the like, but how many of them would give themselves over to uh, be tortured, brutally beaten and nailed on a tree, especially when they themselves were innocent of any crime. However noble and well-meaning modern rulers are, they all pale in comparison to the Messiah of mankind, Yeshua, Christians call him Jesus. But, uh, and we'll only escape uh, all the woes of this uh, world in the next world, and we'll only get a good resurrection into the next world with um, blessings when we give our lives to the Messiah in this world. So I would urge you to do that straight away.